Hello, uh, we're looking at a transverse section here of the heart through the left ventricle and the right ventricle. This is the anterior surface and this is the posterior surface. Uh, what we can see here is that there is a localized area of discoloration at the interventricular septum as well as the anterior part of the left ventricle. Let's zoom in a little bit closer. We can see that there is an area of darkish, almost blackish discoloration. This represents hemorrhage. And this is admixed with an area that is a little bit subtler here. This is an area of pale discoloration. And this is probably better seen on the opposite surface. So let's turn the specimen around. And let's focus on this abnormal area. So we can see that there is an area of pallor or pale discoloration. The tissue here grossly appears a little bit friable or crumbly, and uh, this is the appearance of necrosis grossly. Microscopically, we would see coagulative necrosis, which is the residual presence of cellular outlines, but with loss of nuclei. So the diagnosis in this case is myocardial infarction, now let's look closely and see whether we can find the cause. If you look in the pericardial fat here, there is a vessel that is that has been cut transversely. This is the left anterior descending coronary artery. Um, one of the commonest causes of myocardial infarction is occlusion of the coronary arteries. So this coronary artery is actually occluded by a thrombus. And the cause of the thrombosis is usually that of a ruptured atheromatous plaque. So the diagnosis in this case is myocardial infarction and the cause is coronary artery thrombosis and the cause uh, for that is probably ruptured atheroma or atherosclerotic plaque.